InvestClab was started primarily because we thought there was a better way to actually generate and deploy code. So primarily we started at the wealth management industry and then moved into the institutional asset manager. The very first thing that we thought is that any investment manager should have access to a first class integrated digital platform in the cloud and ideally with Invest Cloud, hence the name Invest in Cloud. The premise behind uh, how we were going to go about this was re really a thing called PWP programs, writing programs, which enables us to use amplified intelligence. So we can take somebody who's a business analyst, a designer, and actually generate the code, rather than the traditional thing where the business analyst has to write tons of specs and then the programmer takes on, doesn't really understand it, programmers goes to testing and it does this loop and then somebody wants to change and it takes forever. We all know that experience. We wanted to zoom that in so that we could do uh, generate code in literally 15 minutes. And we do many, many demonstrations of generating big apps in 15 minutes. And that's how fast you need to be able to generate code. In a digital era, it's, it's essential that you have a thing called um, digital empathy. You're taking away the human, and now you're introducing a computer to do communication. So the com communication has to be very, very high, and it's not one size fits all. So basically every individual using the InvestCloud platform can have a unique experience that is geared to them, therefore there is digitally empathetical to their need. And it's really important because people have different knowledge levels and they're different requirements as well. So with InvestCloud, using PWP, we can do that. And one of the things that I always say that InvestCloud has less than 30 programmers who actually write PWP, and yet we have 7,000 user experiences. And that's a lot in any numbers. And most people will think, if that's true, that's a game changer. It's true because InvestCloud is a substantial company worldwide today with over 700 clients. Uh, just the mid-tier level clients have 1.7 trillion of assets in our cloud today. InvestCloud started off uh, in my garage in, in Los Angeles. Um, I wanted to do a garage startup like uh, uh, Born in London. I thought, you know, Steve Jobs, HP, why wouldn't I do a, a garage startup? It was also a unique startup because it meant I was in the garage for two years with my team. Uh, and it also meant that we had to focus on technology and not selling to anybody. Nobody buys financial systems from a garage in California, I can assure you. Uh, today, we've grown that. We've uh, developed PWP, programs writing pro programs, amplified intelligence. Today, we have a lot more prestigious offices in uh, Los Angeles. We're in the Pacific Design Center, which is the premier location in, in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, we have offices in uh, Silicon Valley as well. We have offices in New York. We have a fantastic office in New York, an office in London, Toronto. We have um, great offices in Tampa and also um, Carlsbad in Southern California. And these offices all serve a purpose to be close to clients and make sure we can service clients. Um, the growth has been great, and as you grow, as everyone knows, you need to keep bringing on more and more people and also you know, local expertise. Key roles are about really growing internationally, so you know, finding the right people in London to service the European market, but also back at the headquarters in Los Angeles. Uh, we've had a great um, financial director for years from the start, but really we're building up to an IPO. The next few years we want to be in that position. To do that, you really have to bring on a CFO, uh, Chief Financial Officer has actually done that before. So just recently we, we've, we've literally done that. So we will continually um, augment the team with great people and chemistry is really important to us as it is with our clients because we like a family unit um, moving forward and we find that works the best. InvestClub was really started when we uh, came up in 2010 that we were going to put all this infrastructure into a cloud. Um, a lot of my friends said, you've got to be mad. Nobody's going to put anything in the cloud. And uh, they weren't necessarily wrong. So we started uh, initially with uh, managers with less than one billion under management. And we would, they couldn't really afford the infrastructure. However, if we put it into our cloud, the cost of actually implementing it was practically zero, which meant the early managers were all smaller managers. And then we moved up to what we call tier two, which is less than 50 billion. And then for a few years, we focused on those. And today, we have the largest banks in the world on our platform. I do believe that everyone will end up with PWP and it will be a massive success for them and add a lot of value to them. And if you can do that, then I'd be very happy and that is our goal.